Goisper Industrial Division, located in Spain, specializes in the design, manufacture and after-sale service of clutches, brakes, index drives and special cams. To ensure quality and to develop future products, Goisper has invested in the creation of the Olaka Research and Development Center. Because of their interest in offering optimum solutions for power transmission applications, Goisper has developed its own hydraulic clutch brake and press safety valve. The Goisper hydraulic double piston clutch brake combined with the press safety valve developed by Goisper's engineers avoids abrupt engagement of the clutch and brake cycle in the press. In this system, the conventional single piston of the clutch brake is replaced by a double piston. Together with the external press safety valve, they allow a soft engagement of the clutch and brake as well as easy engagement speed adjustment. We would like to explain the three main operations of the clutch brake and valve. Clutch engagement phase. Once the signal is given to the press safety valve, the first two spools permit oil to flow to the clutch. The pressure immediately rises to 12 bar. At this point, fluid pressure on the small cylinder overcomes the resistance of the opposing springs and the small piston travels until it reaches the limit of the bolt head. The large piston remains in contact with the brake side discs. The hydraulic pressure increases until it reaches 24 bar. At this stage, both pistons begin to travel towards the clutch plates and clutch engagement begins. The hydraulic pressure continues to rise to 36 bar. At this stage, the first spool closes the main passageway, diverting the fluid into the exhaust passageway. At 36 bar, the large piston is displaced as pressure overcomes the piston spring resistance. The flow rate of the fluid in the exhaust passageway is regulated by a needle valve. Consequently, the clutch engagement can be as smooth as desired. Once the main piston has reached the end of its travel, the pressure increases to 60 bar and the clutch engagement is at maximum torque. Brake engagement phase. For smooth braking, it is necessary to activate the brake spool in the valve. When the brake signal is given, the main spools of the press safety valve are closed. The clutch brake fluid is directed to the tank and the braking phase begins. The fluid pressure forces the spool on the right side of the valve to open. The pressure decreases from 60 to 24 bar. The main piston springs push the large piston away from the small piston. Then. Both move together until engaging the brake discs. Brake actuation begins at this point. Hydraulic pressure continues to decrease from 24 to 12 bar. At this point, the spring forces of the exhaust spool overcome the remaining hydraulic pressure and divert the remaining fluid through the metered exhaust passageway. At 12 bar, the small piston begins to move toward the large piston. By controlling the fluid flow over the exhaust passageway, the speed of the small piston travel is controlled, as is smooth brake engagement. 
When the small piston completes its travel, the hydraulic back pressure dissipates and braking is at full torque. Emergency braking. If for any reason the emergency stop order is given, the emergency stop spool is open. The hydraulic fluid is connected directly to the tank and braking occurs immediately. The pressure in the system decreases instantaneously, bypassing the double piston function. We would like to explain the most important features and benefit of the Goisper hydraulic clutch brake. Quad rings and backup rings. Hard plastic rings reinforce the quad ring seal to prevent hydraulic leaks at high pressure and guarantee long life for the clutch brake. Sintered plates. The clutch and brake plates are manufactured to work in hydraulic fluid. The spiral groove that goes from the inner diameter to the outer diameter permits perfect lubrication distribution to the plate surfaces, as well as high heat dissipation. Lubrication circuit. The clutch and brake plates must be lubricated. A separate low pressure circuit is required for this function. The rotation of the clutch brake and its subsequent centrifugal force contribute to the lubrication process. In addition, the Goisper design has an oil inlet at each pair of plates guaranteeing perfect lubrication distribution. Redundant press safety valve. The Goisper press safety valve is a double spool solenoid operated valve. As the name indicates, both spools have to be actuated at the same time. If one of the spools is closed, the valve will not open. Before starting a new cycle, it has to be verified that both spools are in their initial position and any trouble has been cleared. Flow control valve. The smoothness of the clutch and brake response can be adjusted independently through the press safety valve depending on stroke and response time desired. Manually operated needle valves are integral to the valve body and control fluid flow. These are normally adjusted only during press setup. Thanks to its simplicity, reliability and features, the hydraulic clutch brake and press safety valve have the confidence of customers worldwide.